After bounty hunter Leonard Padilla announced that he would have a memorial service for Kaylee this morning. I have not a problem with him being out here. I have a problem with him having a memorial service for Kaylee tomorrow. As you can hear, Cindy Anthony was very upset by the whole thing. She and George Anthony publicly confronted Padilla at the search site yesterday. They say he's free to have the service without their blessing. Local 6 Point News reporter J.R. Stone is live at Blanchard Park. Obviously, he's free to have the service. They can't tell him not to. But why show up there on the scene yesterday? What's the latest? This, this starts at 9 this morning? Well, yeah, it starts at 9 this morning. And they showed up on the scene because they're frustrated. They're upset when they heard news of this. Now, he says he needs closure. And he feels so strongly that Kaylee Anthony's body is here in this park. He's going to go hold this service. And as he said, the family, nothing to do with this. This is all bounty hunter. We do want to go to some of that video from yesterday. Now, after news of this service broke less, yes, it broke late yesterday morning, George and Cindy Anthony were furious, showed up here, confrontation between Cindy and Leonard Padilla. Now, in a statement on Kaylee's MySpace page, the Anthony's say, quote, everyone has a right to have an opinion about where Kaylee may be. However, no one has a right to have a memorial service for Kaylee other than her family. Padilla responded to the Anthony's complaints late last night. I'm about getting some finality to this situation. I'm definitely about getting finality to it and not letting her have her dogged, determinate way of uh, continuing to tell the people that she's alive. She's not alive. The granddaughter's dead. Now, in a statement given overnight, the Kid Finders Network called Padilla's memorial service, quote, bogus. And Padilla told us in our interview last night, again, he feels so strongly that all his clues point him to this Blanchard Park, that he needs closure, and he will have that at this memorial service. It'll be held at 9 o'clock this morning. We're going to be there. We'll bring it to you later on. For now, reporting live in East Orange County, J.R. Stone, Local 6 Morning News.